everyone, I'm Steve here with Brian who is in our studio at Carson City Fitness for 10. Hey Brian. And, How you doing? Uh, Krista, um, our fitness director in Sparks at our Fitness for 10 studio up there. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So we're going to talk about something that um, is fascinating to me. The differences between health clubs, athletic clubs, gyms, I mean, it, it's not the name that makes them different, but there's a personality for all of these. So I'll just bring out one of the first things that I would recommend people do if they're looking for a gym, and I'll, I'll say why this is important. So the first thing for me is it has to be convenient. What do I mean by that? Either close to your home or close to where you work and or maybe on the way but between home and work but whatever I think it's really really important to try to get the most convenient location and the reason I say convenience because look health club members are not expensive anymore they haven't skyrocketed I mean some are more than others but it's not like your cell phone you know People's cell phones are more expensive than their health club membership, and it's not even really close for most of them. And we have a, you know, we own Parkway Athletic Clubs also, which is a totally different business model. But the reason I think it's important to find a place that's really convenient is so that you don't find a reason not to go. If it's not convenient, it's easy to make an excuse to skip it today because it's not so easy to get there. I have to drive across town. It's too far. It's, I can't get in there. It's not convenient. That's my first, that's what's going to be one of my first excuses. I'm too busy. It takes too long. That's going to be one of my first excuses on why I'm not going to work out today. And then one day turns into a week, a week turns into a month, a month turns into many months and you've totally lost your investment in your health. So that would be the first one I would suggest if you're looking for a gym. So what do you guys think? 100% location is key. And I know at one point in my life working in the corporate world, I would drive by the Sparks location because we're right there on the freeway. You, if you're going to South Reno, like you have to drive by and it's like, you know, your dog, when the dog gets into the trash or something and it avoids eye contact. <laughs> Every time I'm driving by, I'm like, don't look, don't look <laughs> because I'm avoiding going to the gym. So I do think you're right as far as that location has to be accessible to you in a very reasonable space and time frame for sure. Yeah. Adding to that. I think uh, although the fees are generally pretty inexpensive for most clubs right now, unless you go into some of the high end or stuff, I think you should be very careful when you're getting into the gyms, uh, when you're first getting started, especially don't over invest. In other words, don't sign up for everything and have a real high end uh, account that you owe every month. A lot of your places, when you go in, a lot of your gyms will actually offer you a, a two to three day pass. Some will give you a, a drop in day where you can talk to them just to test drive their facility and see what they have to offer. You want to make sure that it fits you as an individual. You want to know what the amenities are at that facility. You need to know the hours of operation. The, 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 the hours of operation to me are so absolutely important because one of the barriers to training, I believe, it, it's is that people will just say they don't have time. Mm -hmm. It's not whether or not they're going to skip it or not. They just want to create this atmosphere that they just can't find 30, 40 minutes a day. Well, if you have a 24-hour facility, you can find it. It then becomes a simple choice. You're going to commit or are you not going to commit? So know the hours of operations. Know when the amenities start and stop, when the trainers come in, when the trainers leave, when the classes start, when they don't start. And make sure they have enough that's going to support you in your journey. Talk to the staff. Ask the staff what they like about their facility. They're going to give you information on that facility right then and there and get the feel for who they are. Walk around. Don't just look at it from the outside. Hey, have you guys seen that old, it's, it's an old Friends episode. Remember the show Friends? Um, where, okay, there's Weren't you on that show, Steve? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. 
But um, I was in my 20s when I used to watch it. But um, <laughs> there was an episode. Some of you listeners I know have seen this because it was one of their best episodes. So there's six friends, right? Three, three women, three men. And they're all members at this health club. And so they all decide that they want to cancel their membership, right? So they go into the club one at a time. And so, I don't know, let's say Joey goes in first. And then he comes back and they go, did you cancel your membership? He goes, no, I upgraded it. <laughs> it was, I'm just trying to cancel my membership. So each one goes in trying to cancel it. They sell them more. They sell them more products. They sell them more services. And it just gets worse and worse. So anyway. I'm in the business and I, I thought it was kind of funny uh, that uh, they couldn't cancel their memberships because they were just getting sold something new. You guys got to go look that episode up. I was going to say, you got to share that on social for us all so we can all see that because I do not remember that episode, but I can totally see how relatable that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure I could Google it or something and find it, but that it was absolutely her uh, hilarious. And the whole episode was about these you know, the friends trying to go cancel their membership. I mean, I'm not trying to give us a bad rep or, uh, reputation or anything, but I, I just, I thought it was funny. Uh, we don't have a bad reputation. In fact, we're very convenient for people when it comes to the memberships. But I think that's hilarious that, that you bring that up because that's kind of going to the point of what I'm talking about mm -hmm. is you have to be cautious about what you're buying. And, and, the, and the, every facility will have levels of memberships for you. And I know we don't hard sell anything at Fitness for 10 or Parkway, but you, you got to keep your eye out for those guys that want to commit you to more than what you really need. You really have to look out for that. It's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, you don't see a lot of that in the gym business anymore. You did in the 90s for sure and up until 2010 or so, but you don't really see that anymore. But what you do notice is, and look, there's no reason – if you're a local resident, I just don't see any reason why a health club won't let you try the gym. Try it for a week. And the reason I think that's important is so that you can, we were talking about this off camera, so you can see how the gym feels. We have multiple locations and multiple different business models, and they all feel a little different. So, and if you don't believe me, try it. Go into two different gyms. They're literally going to feel differently. The personalities are going to be different in that facility. It's like the facility has a personality. And uh, like our, we were talking earlier, our, our spark location, it just, it has energy and it, it just feels good. It's, it's just, it's got a really good feeling in there. And almost every gym has that. I'm just saying they all feel a little different. Some of them might feel bad to you. But location, then how does it feel? And look, a lot of people try to scam the whole one week free. You know, they come visit every year for Christmas and oh, let me try the club. Well, they have no intention of really trying it. They just want to take advantage. So we don't allow that. But if you're a local resident, try the gym, you know, and try another gym too. go into at least two, maybe three. And the reason I think, and again, I, I want to sell health club memberships, but the reason I think it's important is so that you know how that gym feels. You know, how does it feel? What are, what, what are the people like? What is the staff like? So uh, what do you, what do you guys experience on that? I agree with both of you guys on this. And I think it kind of comes full circle to some of the things we were talking about offline as well in the fact of a lot of people when we're starting to that process of, I'm gonna go join the gym, right? We have what I call the Monday mentality, right? On Monday, my life is gonna change. On Monday, I'm gonna go to the gym 10 days a week, even though there's seven, right? And I haven't been to the gym in six years, but I'm gonna be there. And I think it's a great starting point for sure. But like you guys are talking about, you have to find a gym that you can grow with and that's going to encourage you to grow wherever you're at in your process 
and by testing it out, like Brian was talking about, what are those hours of operation that I can create those habits around as far as that consistency? Because we're not coming to the gym seven days a week when we haven't been to the gym in six years. It's just not going to happen. And if you do, we won't see you for another you know, till Christmas again. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. Like you're saying, test those amenities out, test those times out, check out those different time schedules as far as the classes go. And Steve, like you're talking about, the energy is different in all of the gyms and all different health clubs. If I'm trying to lift heavy and I want to go be a, a bikini competitor, going to the yoga studio may not be my number one place to go to get me to those goals. It might be a recovery place for for sure, but I have to find a place that has the vibes, the energy that align with my goals and where I want to go. Yeah, and you know, you, you, does it have what you want? And a, a beginner, you might not know what you want, mm -hmm. but that's why you got to go in and ask questions, walk through the gym. Every gym will give you a tour, and uh, most gyms will let you try the gym. So then you can say, oh, I really like this. I like this type of equipment. I don't like that equipment over there at the other gym. That's why it's important to go in and see, because especially if you're a beginner, you don't know what you like or don't like, right? Well, and I think what's important too is because our, like just if you use our groups, our staff knows what facilities have for all the fitness for tens in the parkways where you can get something from our groups and that has an impact on the memberships you buy if i want to go do a crazy lift i want to go see coach jay and lift the guys in sparks right because that's that to me that is fun you know i could do some of that here but it doesn't necessarily have that same vibe you know if i want to get a good stretch in well, then I'll go and sign up over at the parkway and get a good stretch in over there. But my knowledge of our facilities helps me to allow to make those choices. So I commit to this company as a, as a client in that sense, and I know where I can go. It will cost me a little bit more to get that membership to go from one gym to another. But those are things you get to ask when you get into uh, uh, the gyms and you start talking to the staff. And they will show you what's affordable, and they will show you how to get more bang for your buck. Another little idea is if, if you're a couple and uh, you want to work out together, you can look at different costs there. I mean, we have programs where one person can be paying for it and they can sign in somebody with them. It costs a little bit more money, but in the long run, you can do it together. Then you got two people working with each other, keeping each other motivated. Lots of options. Just go find it. Krista? It's an interview process. It really is just like, you know, when you're on your own health journey, a lot of times you get results back or something, right? And people say, go get a second opinion. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's part of your health journey. Go get that second opinion. Ask the questions, ask the hard questions. And like you said, go experience a couple different places. Find what fits you, what fits your goals and where you're working to be. And we have amazing trainers and all of us have different skill sets and backgrounds and everything else. So there is always going to be somebody's knowledge to leverage for sure. Yeah, that's great input, guys. Uh, so, Krista, how do people follow you on social media? So my main platform is Instagram and my handle is um, at it's coach Krista. So super easy. I like that coffee one you did. Oh, <laughs> Just how that goes. How many cups of coffee does it take? Well, what was it? Well, it's more than 12, whatever yeah, it was. More than 12, for sure. <laughs> you can be quite the comedian. Uh, and, uh, and Brian, um, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on social media, everybody, outside of this. So you can get a hold of me through the comments. Or uh, we're, we're online at our gyms. Just shoot me a, an email, and uh, I will definitely get back to you. All right. Thanks for being with us, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye, guys.